Uh, good morning. God bless each and every one of you. It is 8.07, the 28th. God bless you guys. I hope and pray everybody here receives a message from this. Um, you guys, lately, the last few days, man, I've just been laying there thinking on uh, how backwards this place really is. And I'm talking the church, everything. It's been... You know, like when you look back in the Sodom and Gomorrah, God says our ways are not his ways. And they never were. They never will be. Israel is an example. Look at how many times Israel went back and forth, back and forth. Because they fell away from following him. And their idols, and this place is flooded with idols. And uh, it's clear, it's easy to see it. Um, how uh, we we've literally we've been following Satan I think because in the days of Noah when the world was flooded he got rid of the evil gone no more we ain't gonna see that again that's what a lot of people are thinking and uh, the truth is it just came back again why because people prefer the darkness more than the light the truth and they turn back to evil and that's why it manifests and it comes in and when people are more focused on the evil, following it, then that's how it manifests and it comes out. You know, like you see all these chains that we got everywhere. See, once they got everything built up like they got it now, the chains, that's how they can get the majority of the people to do what they want because they make it a policy. <laughs> we were looking at going to this pie bake off, but they're holding it in the city council. And then they said, mask and everything, the norm is required. The norm is required. In other words, they've already considered it normal, you know, to do these things. And, yeah, it makes me go, you know, what, how do they not see it? And these are like church people. And the problem is, you guys, even for these church people, their pastors don't even know. It's in scripture. Oh, man. I left my Bible up there. I have no way of calling them and telling them either. I meant to bring it. I got another one here. <laughs> yes. It's in scripture. Um, where uh, it clearly says... Um, Yeah, how people, you know, prefer the darkness over the light. And uh, and in the last days, how people are going to uh, seek out teachers to tell them what they want to hear. And these things, they don't talk about it in church. They don't even open up their Bibles in church. And, and it even says in the pews, people are going to want it this way. And this is what's happening today. People won't even be honest about this at all. Excuse me. All right. The truth and the life. You guys, people think that, uh, they don't realize how we've fallen away today. And, you know, in Jude 4, where it says they've taken the grace of God and they perverted it, they've changed it into immorality. And that's where they've taken what Christ has done. And they've made it into where they can do what they want to do. They think that Christ came here so that they could throw out the old law. But the word says not one word or tittle or jot will be jotted out of what the Old Testament. Not one word. Jesus did away with sacrifice. Animal sacrifice. And he made a way. He is the only way to the Father in heaven. There's no other way. And... Uh, you can repent of your sins, but the scripture clearly says, if you take pleasure in unrighteousness, that's sin, that God will send you strong to People aren't living that way. They're just not living that way. You know, our faith is important through Christ. I'm not saying everybody's damned that, you know, <clears throat> he's gonna judge everybody, you know, but I know, know this it says straight is the way and few be there that make it 
and that's because a lot of people are not truly following Christ. They're following the world. And his word says you can't serve two masters. Well, that's what they're doing. They're following two masters. You guys, and we know, I wish I had my, my Bible with me because I had everything highlighted. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21 through 25, For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. You know how I'm saying uh, the Hebrews are an example to us? How, how we, how, how they kept going back into captivity? They are an example unto us. Now, here's where Christ is saying he is an example unto us. How we are to be walking and following him. And he also warned. He said, sin no more or something worse can happen to you. This is how they get in you. Leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who did no sin. Neither was guile found in his mouth. Who when he was reviled, he reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not. You guys, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. You guys, this is what's getting ready to happen. They're going to be coming against us in big ways, man. And when you start seeing, you're going to see this. This is getting ready to start. People are going to be dropping like flies, I believe, pretty soon. Because... When these shots roll out, the things that they're going to be doing. Not to mention all these chemicals they're spraying. The stuff that they put in it, they're just raining it down on you. You know what I mean? We know it says those who take the mark of the beast will be, uh, they're damned. Because it'll warn you not to. But let me tell you something. Will, will the five wise be here when they start that? No, I don't think so. I think the five wise will already be gone. But I believe we're going to be seeing things happening now. Because, I mean, they're not spraying that stuff up there just for a show for us to be watching. Even though we know 95% of the world isn't seeing it. And that's a military operation. They're spraying this stuff so people will get sick. Excuse me, you guys. I'm going to show you something. All right. it's You can see above the sun right now. There's one over there spraying. This is early. Saturday. <clears throat> the skies are pretty blue right now. But they're going to be coming. There's another one. Up there spraying. You can see them? Right, right there. And then over here. He's over there someplace. Let me see. Right there, I think. Someplace up there. But they're, they're there, you guys. A lot of people would think we're just like conspiracy theories or something like that. They have no idea what's, what's uh, about to happen. They're not spraying that up there for nothing. And you guys, I don't think nothing is what we thought it was. Uh... It's be all being revealed. It's coming abroad. You know what I'm saying? When I say it's coming abroad. Where, that's why it says in scripture, there's nothing hidden that won't be revealed. And he said, he's given sight to those who couldn't see, and taken away sight from those who said they could. But they prefer the darkness. They love the darkness, the evil more. So therefore, they can't see what we're telling them. And those that perverted the grace of God, He's blinded them as well. And I'm talking in the churches, in the pulpits. And I'm not saying that they're damned. But after the rapture happens, they're going to be going, what, ha what happened? How did we miss this? They're going to, some of five foolish will know. They're going to know they missed this. Remember, Christ is our example. Remember I told you that time when I seen us all, the whole world going in the same direction in the river? And then all of a sudden they looked at us and they started grumbling hatefully. 
we moved over to the left bank of the river. One of us threw a rock or something, and it went bloop, like made it like halfway and fell in the water. In other words, we're not supposed to fight. Christ is our example. We just simply move away from him. That's it. Just move away from him. All right. Who his own self bore our sins in his own body on a tree, that we being dead to sins should live into righteousness. Now, how can you say you're sinning every day and then think that you're living into righteousness? Scripture says also, we no longer do the things we used to do that we're now ashamed of. See, we had our eyes open and the truth revealed unto us by the Holy Spirit. That's the only way we see the Holy Spirit. He's revealed mighty things to us and the enemy knows this. By whose stripes you were healed. For you were as sheep going astray. Hear that? We were going astray. Remember in Ephesians 2? I'm going to read that in a second. For you were as sheep going astray. But now you returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your soul. Okay, let's see. Let me find Ephesians. Hebrews. Hebrews. Excuse me, you guys. Say in here someplace. Yep. Here we go. Ephesians two. New life with Christ. And you has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. This is when we were all heading in the same direction, like that dream I had. We were all heading in the same direction. That's why it says, You has he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Where in time past you walked, according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Okay? That now worketh in the children of disobedience. See, they're not, they're not saying they no longer do the things that they're now ashamed of. It says those who stop and you're truly following Christ. He does, didn't open our eyes to continue doing the things we used to do. And that's why you're hearing a lot of people saying they do it every day. The churches have perverted the grace of God and what he has done. Among whom we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, he quickened us together with Christ. By grace you are saved. And has raised us up together and made us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. See, guys, that's why it says we're sealed until the day of redemption right now. That's why you don't want to grieve that Holy Spirit where you are sealed. That's why you got a lot of people saying, Oh, we said every day everybody does. You say you don't, you're a liar. Well, they won't, you won't ever hear them say in the scripture where it says, we no longer do the things we used to do that we're now ashamed of. You know, you won't ever hear them saying that now they take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, okay? Where before we used to be taken at will, we used to be taken captive by the devil. At will, we used to be taken captive. Look around you, what do you think all this evil is? They're all being, everything's upside down and perverted. We never should have been living this way. If you believe and you read this word of God and you see it, this is what churches should be telling people. But people don't want to hear this. Because see, they'd rather go get those nicer new cars, or speed boats, or jet skis. They'd rather be doing these things. This is why it says, love not the world or the things that are in it. Or you're the enemy of God. They won't read that either. 
we we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God has before ordained that we should walk in them mighty things you guys I forgot my scripture man I sure wish uh, if I had a phone I'd call Cynthia and tell her to get my Bible I left it on the desk I'll have to use this one uh, and I got a little highlighter here. I guess I could highlight it a little bit to you. Yeah. You guys, we don't even see as many people out here where we can even give a Bible. You don't see them out here too often anymore. Most people are, I guess they're in the bigger cities. Yeah, but you just don't see them out here. Cynthia was witnessing, seen some lady out here, tried talking to her, and she got mad at her. You know, didn't want to hear it. Anyhow. It's here, you guys. The spirit is here. Remember, you guys, we are... Um, we're about to start seeing these things happening. We are going to soon be seeing... Um... going to start seeing here pretty soon when people get their shots and everything they're going to be doing you know it's it's just going to lead to more and I don't believe we're going to be here because it says those that receive the mark of the beast the angel we're going to already be out of here you know or be transformed I don't know but I do know we won't be uh, still here where they can do their thing We've been trying to tell people, warn people about, you know, the mask. What's following after the mask are the shots. You know, these things are coming now. Anyhow. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to this being over. I know most of you guys are too. Be steadfast, be strong. Always abounding in the Lord. And, uh, be separate. Don't be vile, like he says. Christ is our example. The Hebrews, they're an example, even though it's not a good example. Some of it is. You know, when you see, like, you know, like today, they like to use, like, what King David did is for an excuse for their Second Amendments, for them to get their guns and fight and kill, you know? But it has nothing to do with what we do, has nothing to do with what God told them to do about running the heathen out, okay? Here in America, we lit it in. You know, we didn't have to get it out. We lit it in. We came here and robbed and stole and killed the Indians and took. We did exactly what Scripture says uh, Satan does. You know, these flags, these schools, what we teach are the ways of Satan. You know, when you send your kids to school, what do you send them to school for? To learn the ways of the world. What are they teaching about God? Nothing. That's why it says in Scripture, His ways are not our ways. Our ways are not His ways. You guys, this place is, we got to be far, far, far out of it and away from it with the things of this world. And a lot of people are probably having a lot of issues coming up with uh, family members, you know, that are uh, of the world. Who knows? It's probably not good, I'm sure. But they're going to find themselves in a bad situation because they put things before the Lord. Yeah, and you got to remember, God said he raised. God raised. And they deny that even. And you listen, if you're not following God, and he's going to be putting, you know, many people I've had have been children um, that are not of God. Never were. Never will be either. You know? Satan comes as an angel of light. If you don't think there aren't people out there, loved ones, that you think are nice, you know, but yet you clearly know the way what they're doing is not right, and as much evil as we've been revealed and shown to us, and yet you still choose to hold on to somebody knowing that they're of the devil, it's clearly a choice, you guys. As it says in scriptures, don't deceive your own self. It's bad enough Satan's deceived the whole world. 
but don't deceive your own self. God bless you guys. I love you. In Christ our Lord.